let us know if there's any rain coming up in the forecast, we turn to Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Something tells me, Justin, it's not good. No, I got nothing. I got nothing? nothing over here, so uh, uh, not really, not until we get maybe towards this time seven days from now, but you know, that kind of gets voodoo territory out there. We can get things changing very quickly. As Brian mentioned, yes, one of the uh, things the Bureau of Land Management Department of Forestry watching very closely across the state is all of the dry fuels. If you don't know what those are, fuels are basically all like all of the stuff that's sort of just sitting on the ground, you know, tree limbs and little shrubs, shrapnel, things like that that are just out there that can burn very very quickly and certainly uh, with the backyard burning ban coming as well uh, that's something we're going to be watching here across the weather center one of the other things we're watching very carefully this week I keep tweeting these out and say hey this is the highest it's been hey this is the highest it's been and guess what this is the highest it's been 708 is our pollen count for today it is likely going to remain very high like that through the weekend so allergy sufferers um, fortunately it's just something we're gonna have to battle with as we get into the weekend forecast and that is because we've got high pressure anchored off of our coastline and now it's not close enough that we're talking about blaze in temperatures here we are getting a bit of an influence with the jet stream and that's what's been pushing the morning clouds back on shore each and every night along the coast where the temperatures have been fairly seasonable in the upper 50s to low 60s. Right now we're sitting around 52 Newport as you get to 54 down in North Bend. 57 here, very comfortable in Eugene, just a tad warmer than that up in a Corvallis, still in the 60s in Roseburg and upper to mid 50s as you get out across Central Oregon. All right, clear skies as we mentioned, beautiful shot, our downtown live sky cam there. Winds out of the north around 9 miles an hour, humidity at 74%, so it's a little higher tonight. Might get a little bit of patchy cloud cover in the morning. We'll watch, see if that develops overnight. 89 in Medford today, so no 90, but still pretty darn toasty. 59 was the high in Newport. 80s in both Corvallis and Roseburg, and 79 here officially in Eugene. So this is what it looks like over the next 24 hours in the storm cast. You can see the morning clouds kind of filter on back in. Not a lot of development in the valley, so I don't think we'll see much of that. By the afternoon, a little bit of cumulus build up across the Cascades. It's pretty much sunny from the word go here across the valleys and it will go partly cloudy out to the coast as we head overnight in towards tomorrow. So Corvallis at around 50, or excuse me, 46 degrees, 51 as you get towards Roseburg, 51 in Coos Bay as well. And here's why. High sitting just offshore, but it's still forcing the jet stream down more of a northwesterly push. And so while that keeps us sunny in the afternoon, it keeps some of the temperatures in check for now. There's a storm developing, but it's way off towards the Aleutian Islands out in the uh, northwestern Pacific. We'll watch for that. That may try to bring us some relief as we head in towards the end of the week next week. So 60s at the coast, we'll be looking at around 81 in Sutherland, 82 in Roseburg. Sunny forecast again, looking good as you get up and across the Cascades. We'll see upper uh, 60s for highs. Sisters at around 78, sunny, breezy, and warm as well. Into central Oregon, here in the Willamette Valley, we'll sit right around 78, 79 degrees. A nice sunny afternoon again in the coast. Uh, morning clouds, afternoon sun, pretty much till we get to Wednesday, Thursday. That's when we'll see that little disturbance try to slide down and may, fingers crossed, give us some a uh, little bit of a quick washout as we head in towards our Friday. The Umpqua will be in the 80s the next couple of days and then slowly cooling back off into the low 70s. Cascades might actually see a shower chance by this time next Friday. And then finally here in the Willamette Valley, a very summery forecast. 78 tomorrow, 80 on Sunday, and then slowly backing off down to around 70 degrees. And Friday's when, if we can, if this holds together, you know, seven days, a lot can change weather-wise. Mm -hmm. That's when we might start to see our first rain chances in, gosh, almost about three weeks now. Wait, but you can't even squeeze them into the fork. It's so dry, you can't even put them in the graphics I right now. It would just be Virgo. I just have to <laughs> throw it out the forecast there. That's right. We, anything you could do to help would be great. I'm going to do my best. Thank you, Justin. Yeah.